image so that when the image um, is clicked by a user, it does not go to an error 404 page. Uh, we've been having that trouble here at Art Nico Galleries, and um, so we're going to show you how to not have that problem. So just going back here, we're going to add media on here. And I will scroll down to an image. Give it a second. Let's insert this one here. So um, we're inserting that image. Scroll on down, all the way down. And we're going to have it on the attachment page. If you look at this URL, this is the name of that image, Dear 5. Okay? We'll put it into medium size. Let's insert it into the post. So if you look here again, if you click on the image to edit, the attachment page is Art Nickel Galleries slash Dear 5. But really, this is on a post, so it should actually have another coding in here, another update to the URL. So I'm just going to go ahead and close out of here. The way to do this is to actually update the post. So you'll go ahead and publish your posts as per usual. But as soon as you're done publishing the post, you'll come back to it. First, I'm going to show you why you're going to want to do that. Um, I'll go to View Post, scrolling all the way down. Here we are in this image I just inserted. Now, if I'm a user, I go, oh, let's look at that image. Click on it. I get an error 404 page. Okay, we don't want that to happen. So move back over here. We're going to edit the post. And I scroll all the way down again to that image. Click on it. And click Edit. And since I hit that update, something else has happened. This has become a custom URL. And if I click Attachment Page again, you see Tea Time in the Orient slash Dear 5 is actually um, what it's supposed to have because this is that's the name of this post. So I click update again. And then we click view post. Scroll down and look at it. And this time when I click on it, it goes to the same to you they don't it doesn't take you to an error page you actually can see the image the name of the image and we click on it again and it goes to the media file and that's the full size version of the image so I go back I am going to go back again to here and I'm going to show you one more time on what to do so after you have updated your post you've published it Go back into the post and edit it again. Scroll down to the image and do this on each image. Click on it under Edit. Click Attachment Page. It will say Custom URL. Click Attachment Page and that will put in the title of the actual post it's on. And then click Update and then update the post again. So that's how it's done. Make sure your images are attached properly and they do not render an error, an error 404. Thank you.